How to become fluent in Spanish in under a year. How to learn in 30 days. Speak like a native speaker in a week. <laughs> Some other crazy YouTube title that gets you to click on it. No, but seriously, I was able to become fluent in Spanish in under a year. And within a short amount of time, around just a few months, I was able to have real conversations with people without having to translate every other word in my head. So yes, you can actually be speaking Spanish just a couple of months from now. And I'm going to show you the best strategies that I applied to be able to do that. And if you're skeptical, you're in good company because I was very skeptical too when I saw people learning Spanish within a matter of months when I started to learn Spanish or when I was just playing around with the idea of learning Spanish because it doesn't seem realistic. And no, I'll say right off the bat, two, three months from now you're not going to be a perfect Spanish speaker. It's just probably not going to happen. But will you be able to understand almost everything in Spanish and be able to form really complex conversations, you know, within a year? That is 100% possible, and I'm living proof of that. A little bit of background on me. I've been teaching Spanish mainly on Instagram and through my Spanish programs, and I am starting to make more and more videos on YouTube to share my Spanish knowledge, get you to learn Spanish quickly. The goal of all of my content is just that to teach Spanish in a sort of non-traditional way because I personally had to learn Spanish just like you so I can explain things in a different way than let's say a native Spanish speaker could so if that's something that interests to you please go ahead and show some love to this channel by liking this video and subscribing for more videos like this in the future I'm gonna stop rambling on about that now let's get into the reason why you decided to click on this video in the first place because you want to learn Spanish and you don't want to waste a long time trying to do so 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 obviously you're like me and you were impatient. <laughs> what we have to understand when we're trying to learn Spanish quickly is that we have to do it in a different way than most people. We don't want to be normal. Normal people spend years and years inside of Spanish programs and university classes and all of this other stuff and then they still at the end of those four or five years, however long it took them to go through those programs, still don't feel like a confident Spanish speaker and still struggle to even understand basic conversations in Spanish. And I'm a witness to a lot of people who have done that. We don't want to be normal. We don't want to be like that, obviously. Instead, we want to learn like a baby. We want to look at the real experts of language learning, which are babies, of course, because babies learn super quick and we have no idea how they do it. That's because we don't really stop and look at their strategy because they're just babies. What does a baby do? A baby is immersed in the language, but not just that. It's not just because they're surrounded by the language that allows them to learn quickly. The reason they're able to learn so quickly is because they're always constantly trying to figure out how to communicate. They're always trying to figure out how to put different phrases together, how to do these different things. Like if I'm a baby and I want this cup, I'm going to figure out how to say, you give cup to me, right? And maybe it comes out weird. Maybe it's just like cup, cup, or maybe it's after I've, you know, learned a bit more, I'm going give, cup, cup, give. And then I'm going me, give, cup. But I'm slowly learning how to, without even realizing it, conjugate verbs. I'm, I'm realizing how to use indirect and direct objects and all of this other stuff. All the while, I've never spent a second inside of a grammar book as a baby, of course. You'll never see a baby with their head shoved inside of a vocabulary book, shoved inside of a grammar rules book, stressing out over an exam that they have to take tomorrow. That is not how we want to learn a language. We want to learn a language by simply using it and figuring out how to say stuff. Thankfully, we're adults and we're a little bit smarter than babies, so we're able to take shortcuts. Shortcuts like learning verb conjugations. Uh, shortcuts like maybe using grammar rules as a guide to get us to having good sentence structure. But one of the things that you really don't want to do is you do not want to focus on gra grammar. At least you don't want to focus heavily on it. Grammar rules can be confusing. And at the end of the day, what you really want to just focus on is speaking and figuring out how to say stuff. Now, how do we say stuff though? Think about it logically in Spanish. Think of these two things. Number one, what can a sentence not have? That's the verbs. Number two, what's the hardest part about learning Spanish? That's the verbs. Verbs change drastically in Spanish. I mean, 
look at this verb hablar, which means to speak or to talk. I mean, it could be hablo, hablas, habláramos, hablaste, hablaríamos. I mean, there's so many different possible conjugations that it can be a bit overwhelming. Obviously, there are patterns, but if you want to be a serious Spanish speaker and you want to be able to understand what other people say to you in Spanish, you have got to focus on how to talk in the present, how to conjugate in the past tense, in the future, in the subjunctive, and all of these different tenses. Because otherwise, you're just going to sound like Tarzan and say things like, me go to store yesterday, or me went tomorrow doesn't sound great and we don't obviously want to sound like that so i recommend and this is what a lot of traditional classes get wrong getting back to the point of analyzing what normal people do which again we don't want to be like that normal spanish classes will focus months and months and months on just the present tense and then maybe they'll teach you the past tense after like the second or third semester of classes and you're already over a year into it and then we might get to the future all the while we're learning a bunch of vocabulary words that we're probably never going to use in an actual conversation with the person like oh I like apples and today it's 72 degrees outside in the beginning we don't want like I don't see myself going up in a Spanish bar and talking to someone like that you know going like hey this apple is green or I am a man. That's not real practical Spanish. I want to talk about what I'm doing today, what I'm doing tomorrow. If you're interested in my interests as well, you know, well, let's talk about politics. Why not? But whatever interests you, I want to be able to talk about that in a realistic conversation. So focus on the verbs that we're able to do that. And it's kind of ironic that these traditional classes take so long to teach you this stuff because that means that they can just charge you more and more money for a longer amount of time. So kind of kind of makes sense when you think about it. So again, we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to focus on learning every verb ton can tense and conjugation as quickly as possible, and we're not going to focus on boring grammar rules. Definitely not going to do that, okay? And we're also not going to focus on vocabulary. Wow, but how are we supposed to speak a language if we don't know vocabulary words? Obviously, you know, don't take that super literally when I say that, but I'm not going to sit there and look up all of these different vocabulary words. Like, I'm not going to pull out some big Spanish book and just go down a list of vocabulary words trying to figure out stuff. That's not smart because I'm just going to forget those words anyway. Instead, I go back to when I said we have to use the language, which means whatever I'm thinking and doing in English, I'm going to figure out how to do and say that thing in Spanish. That way, I learn vocabulary that is useful to my life. So really, I don't ever have to like go and study vocabulary necessarily. Simply, whenever I hear new vocabulary or whenever I need to know a new vocabulary word, I look that word up and then I will be way more likely to remember it because it's something that's that's useful to my life and it's likely a vocabulary word that I'm gonna use every single day. So learn vocabulary, use vocabulary that's useful to you because Again, your focus needs to be on verbs. Verbs change, vocabulary words do not. The only way a vocabulary word can change is if you add like an S to it to make it plural, just like we do in English. But again, if I can't communicate, let's say I wanted to say, yesterday I went to the store. Tomorrow I am going to the store. Last week we all decided to go to the store. Notice how go can become go and going and uh, will go, would have gone, would go. In Spanish, these changes in these verbs are much more drastic, by the way. It could be fui, iré, voy a ir, fuera. There's a lot of different ways to conjugate the verb go just to say that I am going or would go or will go, all of these other things. But notice how the word store would not change. It would just be tienda, whether I'm talking in the past, the present, the future, whatever tense. So again, I know I've said this so many times, but verbs needs to be your focus. Vocabulary words don't because vocabulary comes with time. Think about it this way. If you learn every single verb, tense, and conjugation, all that's left to do is fill in your sentences with vocabulary that you pick up on the way naturally. So the next thing that I want to talk about is immersion and how to immerse yourself even if you're not in a Spanish-speaking country. The key to learning a language, as we see from babies, is immersion, meaning that we're trying to surround ourselves as much as possible with the Spanish language. The ways that we can do this without ever stepping foot inside of a Spanish speaking country. By the way, I never stepped foot inside of a Spanish speaking country until I was already fluent in Spanish. So before that, I just simply learned from the comfort of my own room at home, never had to go anywhere. We can do things like putting our phone in Spanish. It really seems kind of simple and 
all obviously intimidating, but if you put your phone in Spanish, you are forcing yourself to use Spanish every day, even if you don't want to. So it's almost like you never have to study because you're just, without even realizing it, learning and practicing Spanish every single day throughout the day. You'll learn amazing and really useful vocabulary by doing this because you'll learn how to say things like message, send message, typing. Um, you'll learn the weather. That's how I learned the weather in the days of the week was just looking at it in my phone every day. I didn't have to like sit there and study for an, tomorrow's weather and vo vocabulary Spanish exam, right? Putting your phone in Spanish, while it's difficult at first, you get used to it and it almost puts your brain into a sort of survival mode where it's like, Either you learn this or you're not going to be able to go about your day. So try to find a way to do that. I found ways to put my car in Spanish, which is, sounds crazy, but I just wanted total immersion. Whenever I would watch TV, I would put shows in Spanish. I'd read and watch the news in Spanish as well. I'd try to find people on YouTube that, uh, you know, would be like maybe vloggers in Spanish or it, let's say I was into soccer a lot at the time. I would look up soccer tutorials in Spanish. I had people on my soccer team that I played on that spoke Spanish. So what I did is I found one person who was really nice to me and started to become good friends with him and told him like, hey, I'm learning Spanish. So every time that we texted each other, I would text him in Spanish and he was nice enough to text back in Spanish as well. He thought it was pretty cool. Next thing you know, me taking that one simple decision of finding someone that I already knew that spoke Spanish. Next thing I know, guess what? I'm at the cookouts with his family. I'm talking to his parents in Spanish because they didn't speak English, so I didn't have a choice. It's crazy how one thing can lead to another just by simply looking around the people that you already know, whether it's a coworker, an acquaintance, a person on your club or team, it's just someone that you know that speaks Spanish and just deciding to start trying to speak whenever you can in Spanish with them. If you're intimidated by that, I used a lot of different apps that connected me online, so I never had to speak to this person in person, in Spanish. Some apps are like Hello Talk and Tandem. Italki is a great app to uh, connect with Spanish tutors for a really affordable amount of money. You can literally have sessions with a native Spanish speaker where the whole entire focus of the session is just on that person speaking Spanish with you. That is great practice as well. When you really decide to just immerse yourself and you're dedicated to learning Spanish, you start to realize all of these different creative ways that you can be using Spanish around your life. I mean, put your computer in Spanish, put your keyboard in Spanish, teach your dog Spanish, I don't know. But seriously, you can have conversations with yourself in the mirror when you're in your car alone, talk to yourself in Spanish, talk to your dog in Spanish, they can't understand you anyway. There's just a lot of ways to go about it. Go to Spanish supermarkets to, for your grocery shopping, you know? You can get really creative when it comes to this. And honestly, just flipping that switch in your brain and saying, I am learning Spanish, and if you don't adapt to this new lifestyle, you're not going to function. You will be surprised what your brain can do subconsciously to pick up Spanish words and vocabulary. This last recommendation I'm going to give you is to watch my free 100% free training that goes into even more detail on the three strategies that I applied and my methodology to learning Spanish and becoming fluent in under a year. I show you specifically what I focused on, what I did not focus on, and even what resources you use and how to use them to learn Spanish quickly and take advantage of your time so you're not wasting your time doing pointless learning, if that makes sense. Again, this training is 100% free. Click on the link in the description for that and you can sign up and you can be watching that today. At the end of that training as well, you'll get a special invitation to my Spanish program if you're looking to learn everything from A to Z in Spanish within just a matter of months. You get lifetime access to a self-guided Spanish program that you can watch anywhere on your phone or your computer. Their lessons done by me, so it's not like grammar rules. It's the grammar rules without the grammar. I teach you Spanish in a very easy and simple way to understand, just like in all of my Instagram lessons and all of my YouTube videos as well. You get private Facebook communities, accountability groups, and you also get weekly live Q&A sessions with me, monthly sessions with a native speaker, all kinds of stuff within that program. At the end of that training, you can hear more about that. But thank you for watching this video. If you found a ton of value in this, please show some love by liking and subscribing and even commenting. That way it shows up for more people who are just like you and want to learn Spanish. Within a couple of decades, a third of the population in the United States will be Spanish speaking. So if you're still wondering whether or not it's useful for your life, it is. <laughs>
Whether you're trying to find new relationships, whether you're trying to travel, or whether you're trying to improve your career and your career opportunities, Spanish is an amazing language. Best food, best music, and best people. What more could you ask for, honestly? So, I mean, really just sit there and imagine yourself speaking Spanish with people, like literally speaking a different language than your native language just a few months from now. I'm telling you, it's the coolest thing in the world. Again, check out that free training if you're serious about learning Spanish and you see yourself speaking within a few months from now. See you in the next video. Ciao.